Hey everyone, Yanni plays here. In today's Tech Quickie, we are going to install the replay mod through Forge. And that is needed if you are running an older version of Minecraft. So that will be 1.7 to 1.12. And of course, that includes the 1.8.9. Now, on this list here, you cannot see Minecraft 1.7. But if for some odd reason you run 1.7 and you need the uh, replay mod, just scroll all the way to the bottom of the list. And here you can find all of the versions of 1.7. 7.10. Now if you already have Forge installed, you can go ahead and skip to the next timestamp down in the description. For everybody else, we are going first to Minecraft Forge and I'm going to put the link in the description and here on the left side you pick the game version that you would like to install Forge on. We're currently in 1.8 and we're in the sub menu of 1.8.9 and over here we have our uh, latest download and we have the recommended download if you click on show all versions you can see older versions of forge but again all of them are for 1.8.9 so let's go ahead and go on to the recommended one and click on the installer and now we're going to see an ad page and in the top right corner after a few seconds we can click skip and it now is downloading our Forge installer. We click on keep and wait for it to download. Now, while everything is downloading, one thing that you have to make sure is that in your Minecraft launcher, you are starting the game version that you want to install Forge on at least once. So as you can see, I already put the 1.8.9 in here and I clicked on play so that this one started up before. Now, if you go into your list here and you cannot find the game version that you're looking for, you just go over to the installation, click on new installation, you can name it, and in here you can find all the different versions. They are the oldest one at the bottom and the newest one are on top. Now that the Forge installer is downloaded, we can click on it and it is going to open up the mod installer and it automatically should already pick your .minecraft folder. We're going to install a client because we're not running it as server and we click on OK. It's going to take just a few seconds and everything is successfully installed. Then let's start up our launcher again and we are going to pick the 1.8 dot nine it forge and as you can see here the only forge that i currently have in here is 1.16.5 so sometimes that happens and all you have to do then is head over to the installations again click on new installation and we name that forge 1.8.9 and then we are going to have to find our latest release version here now in my case here it is all the way at the bottom if you are not finding it all the way at the bottom, then just go to the 1.8.9 uh, section. Or if you can't find it there, then start checking all the way on the top. Once we have that selected here, we are clicking on create. So all the way at the bottom here, we can find that 1.8.9. And of course, also over here in play, you and I can find the 1.8.9. Click on it and let's start up the game. Now, if your game crashes while you start up, then you most likely have some incompatible mods in your mod folder. So you just would have to remove all of those. But once it's started up, we can go ahead and quit the game. So now we can get started and install the replay mod. For that, we are going to replaymod.com slash download and we're finding the game version that we want to install our replay mod from. And for me, that is 1.8.9 and we're clicking on download. And as you can see, the replay mod now is downloading in my bottom left corner. Now, while everything is downloading, I want to encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you want to see some more of those short and quick tutorials. Also, while everything is still downloading, we're also going to open up our .minecraft folder. If you don't know where your .minecraft folder is, you can just go into the search bar, type in percentage app data percentage, and now it is opening up our roaming folder. And in a roaming folder, usually the very first folder is .minecraft. So you double click on this one here and that is where your Minecraft is installed. In here you already should have a folder named mods. Now if for some reason you don't see this folder in here, you just right click, you create a new folder and you call it mods, M-O-D-S. And in here is where you have all of your different mods. Now I am going to create a new folder in here and I'm going to call that 1.8.9. Now you don't have to do that, 
but you can put all of your mods into a separate folder. Let's open up this folder here and then we're taking the replay mod file and we drop it in here. Now, the last thing that we have to download is FFmpeg. FFmpeg is a free software and that is a render engine. So you just go to FFmpeg.org and you click on that big green download button. And then down here, you can select what OS system you have, most likely a Windows. And then we have different sources on where you can download this file. And if you watch this video far in the future, you may see different ones here. But all of them are the same. You just click on them. It is going to bring you to some kind of a page where you can download your FFmpeg. So here, for example, it would be the FFmpeg right here, the essentials. Click on that to download it and let's head back to FFmpeg again. Click on download on the Windows and we are going to download it from this side here as well. And also here you can see we have a uh, Windows 64, so the 64 bit. So any of those four would work. And I am just going with the smallest one here. And also this one here is going to download a zip file for me. So now what do we have to do with those zip files? So you go onto your computer and you find the spot where you would like to install that. And as you can see, this one here is in volume V, whereas my game is in volume C, so they don't have to be at the same place. But in here you can see my FFmpeg folder. So that pretty much is exactly this zip folder here. So all we have to do is we have to take our folder here right click and drag it over here and then click on extract and now it is going to extract this folder over here and let's just go ahead and do it really quick so now that you have your folder here let's open it up and then you can see there is another folder inside of it let's just grab that and drop that back into our first folder so that when you open it up that it gets directly here where you see bin doc and all that stuff the next thing that you should do is you should change the name of that to something a little bit shorter. Then go in again, go into the bin and then you can find your ffmpeg.exe. Right click on it, go into the properties and now down here we have the location. So we select that, control C and now that all of that is done we can go ahead and start up our Minecraft. The reason why we shorted this folder name and everything is because in replay mod when we have to tell our system where ffmpeg is there is a certain character limit and if you just take the folder the way it is your limit is exceeded so you cannot put it in. Now that Minecraft is started up you can see our replay viewer is installed it's over here if we click on it currently we don't have anything in that we can open up because all of mine are in Minecraft 1.17.1. But let's go ahead and record a quick single player. So now that I completed recording, let's go into the replay viewer. And in here you can see I have a almost two minute long replay. And we just click on load. Now the very first time that we are trying to render something, we have to tell replay mod where is our FFmpeg render engine located. So if you click on render up here, uh, before you click the render button here at the bottom, we are going to have to tell replay mod where is that FFmpeg. And we are going to enter that in this field down here. Now, in my case, that is already in because replay mod knows the settings that I have in, in 1.17. But in here is where you would have to put in your pad that you copy that you currently have on your clipboard. So just uh, control V and then uh, it is going to add everything up until here. And then you just have to do another slash and then type FFmpeg mpeg dot exe and once this one here is in we can click on the render button and it is going to render our scene i hope this tutorial helped you get your replay mod installed on forge on a older version of minecraft if so don't forget to hit the like button and i hope we see you in my next video thank you goodbye